Hello, I'm Dick Grimshaw of the Vetiver Network International and I want to give you a short tutorial about how to use the International Vetiver Grass Tracking app. The app was developed by the Asian Institute of Technology of Thailand together with the Thai Land Development Department. It was first developed to be used in Thailand for monitoring and locating the thousands of vetiver sites which were established over the past 15, 20 years. That was an initiative of the late King of Thailand. The Thai subsequently kindly extended the use of this app to worldwide and we started using it worldwide at the beginning of November 2018 and thus far we have added probably about 300 new sites and of course there are probably tens of thousands more many of which will ever never ever be added. The purpose of the app is to first of all hide a better indication of the worldwide coverage of vetiver and its uses and help in the promotion of the technology. Secondly, projects that are developed by particular agencies who want to monitor these projects and there may be multi sites within a country or neighboring countries can use this app to locate their vetiver sites and then search for them as, as a group. This app is capable of providing summarized data for groups of projects. Thirdly, this site is supposed to help the promotion of the commercial aspects of Vetiver, particularly companies that are propagating Vetiver as commercial nurseries. Now, the tutorial will be in two parts. Part one will cover the what I call the front end of the app which is for public use and then part two will focus on what is behind this app and for which only registered and logged in users can use it and they can use it for adding new sites editing old sites and updating existing sites So let's first of all have a look at how the front side of this app works. There are a number of small menus which we need to look at. This item here is the index and we'll open that up and then over on the three bars if you click on that we get search results show by map style. When you first open up the app all 3500 um, sites show up here and you can click on any of them and it will give you some limited information about them. In this view, this is a type and we have Chrysopogon nigritana mainly found in Africa, Chrysopogon nemoralis in Southeast Asia, Chrysopogon zizinoides fertile viable seed which is from North India and Chrysopogon zizinoides non-fertile which is used throughout the world and is what the Vetiver Network International promotes. We can also show this by purpose of use and the various purposes of use are agriculture, aquaculture, bioengineering, biomass production, disaster mitigation, phytomediation, propagation, soil water conservation and other uses. And then we can also show by map style, the three map styles, OSM which is this one, a road map style which is this one, and satellite which is that one. Often the road map one is quite a useful map to start with. This button over here is a search button and if you click on it we can uh, search by various uh, fields but the easiest one to search by is probably country and in this case I'm searching for Australia. I click on that and it takes a little time to come up I'm afraid. There's one site up here in northern Queensland and the other ones we have locally are in, uh, in the hinterland of Brisbane. If we click on that, these sites appear and you can see there's some for bioengineering, 
others with phytoremediation, and um, if we, again, there's fire, a cluster there, fire, we can open those up. Here's one of disaster mitigation. If one clicks on that disaster mitigation, here we are, it's the uh, store store street channel in in queensland a satellite image which uh, came from uh, google earth which we inserted there here is another image uh, this is an interesting site in that the vetiver had been planted back in this area here about 10 years ago and recently it was removed we don't know why it was removed but um, it was and you can have another look at one here there's this Here's a site here, Gatton Research Station, where it's been planted for patient purposes. If you want to reduce this map on a Mac, you use you put the pointer on the map and, and you and shift minus. Uh, if you do control minus, the whole thing whole thing gets smaller, including the, the menu. One aspect that I would like to draw your attention to is the data summary features that this app can provide. These two icons, this one and this one, summarize the data that is shown in the search results. So if you click on this icon, normally it will show the number of plants or the number of areas which have been planted to Bedeva. And if we click on this one, a pie chart will emerge showing the distribution of planting between different applications. Unfortunately, at this time, uh, the system is not working that well. But it's a useful feature because if, for example, you are a non-profit organization working in, say, Ethiopia, and you have projects uh, uh, around Ethiopia, and you want to be able to monitor in real time the amount of vetiver which is coming out of, say, your nurseries, you can uh, code the field name, project name, in such a way that it makes it easy to select all the projects under your control. When these come up in this left-hand column here, you can then get summarized data for them. So I think we've covered most of the uh, aspects of uh, the front side, and we will call that the end of part one. Hello, I'm Dick Grimshaw and I'm going to run through part two of the International Vetiver Grass Tracking tutorial. And this um, tutorial is focused on registered users and how registered users can use this app for locating new sites or, and how registered users can use this app for locating new sites or viewing or editing existing sites. First, you have to register. You click this um, button up here and a registration screen should turn up. <coughs> In this case, it doesn't because I've already registered. But the registration screen is fairly simple in that it... Um, Ask a number of questions, but the most important question you have to answer is of user you want to be. There are three types of users, an administrator, a surveyor, and a investigator. You cannot register as an administrator. There are only six administrators in the whole system. And if you try and register, you'll be rejected. If you register as a surveyor, you will your registration has to be authorized and it may take a day or two. And we only authorize surveyors who we know are committed to the Vedava system and have a professional knowledge about it. The third group are investigators. And investigators are able to register and get automatic approval. They can only use the system within their country of operation, but within that country they can add new sites 
and they can view and edit existing sites, even if those sites do not belong to themselves. So that's basically how to register. Once registered, you log in, and you can either log in with Facebook, Google, or Microsoft, assuming you have an account in either of those three. So we log in, in my case, with Facebook, and this screen appears. The first thing you will see is this screen showing um, 10 uh, projects, a bit of a site, and um, they all are sites that I have added. In other words, they're up here. They come under my sites, these projects, my projects. And I've entered, if you look down here, 19 screens times 10. That's over 190 um, sites. Now, these sites actually don't belong to me, but I know about them, and I've confirmed the majority of them using Google Earth and other means, also including some on-site visits. The next thing one can do is to um, have some uh, identify and... Uh, <coughs> now, what I would like to do now is to show you how to add a new project. And what you do is you click here, you see the new project here in this uh, sidebar, and you click on it, and this screen comes up. Now, for some reason or other, there's a problem with the satellite imagery today. So I'm just clicking on Street View, and that shows the streets. We need to reduce this, and I'm going to add a site, which I know about, in Hong Kong. So I come over to this part of the map where China is. Here's Hong Kong. Keep adding it. And there are a number of ways you can specifically add the site. You can either... Um, add it from uh, from knowing the exact spot on the map, which is not always easy, or you can add it from lat longitude coordinates that you may have collected on your smartphone when you're out in the field, or you can take coordinates from, say, Google Earth. In this case, I'm taking Google Earth coordinates, and I'm adding them in, 22.402063, and the longitude is 114.194911. Note, this system uses decimal degrees, so don't try and add degrees and minutes and seconds, because it won't work. You then click on that little dropper there, and it brings to that to the point where the vertebra is located. Now, Sometimes, if this is in satellite view, and you have a look, and you see that the vertebra is either not there, in which case it's probably due to the imagery is out of date, or the pin is in the wrong place. If you want to adjust the pin, click on this button here, and bring it down here, and click it in there. And that readjusts it, and it also brings the uh, changes of that long. It automatically puts in the country, and the province, and city, and district. The location name... For example, we'll use here is uh, uh, Lock Lam Road, Lock Lam Road, Hong Kong. Now over here, we put in the project name. So we should, uh, Hong Kong is no longer, has an international code. The international code for Hong Kong is China. So we put CHN in. And this is one of a series of projects put, developed by PK Yoon. So in order to make searching easier for Yoon company, we can put in here Yoon, and we can add uh, road slope. Then here we can put in, uh, the main purpose is bioengineering. Planting pattern is on the shoulder, road shoulder. Planting date, I know, was 2003. The species, non-fertile vetiver. Vetiver variety, is unknown. That's the cultivar. Number of plants we do know is 5,200. That came out of the contract for this plot, and the number of plots is one. We can also add a photograph. We click on Choose File. I have some pre-selected photos. I'll put in Lock Lamb Road there, and I'll open it. That goes in there as Lock Lamb, and I add a, a caption there, Unique Planting into Shot Creek by P.K. Yoon, and I save it. I submit. It's been successfully added. We press OK. If you don't fill this in correctly, it'll tell you, and it will not allow you to submit until it's uh, done correctly. Press OK, and it comes back to this screen here. Now, I want to edit that previous 
um, location that I added, PK Yoon's location. So I'll type in here CHN Yoon and I can pick it up here uh, and, uh, and click edit. And you can see this is what I just added. And um, okay, so we want to add some more information to the Yoon location in Hong Kong. So I press, I type in here, in this case just Yoon, and this comes up here, and um, I click on uh, View. And I want to uh, add some photographs, so I'm going to press Add Progress and Upload Photos. And I'm going to add one, two, three photographs. You can add up to three at any one time, but no more. And you should, if you're going to add three or even add two, you should do it all at the same time because if you add one and then go back and add another one, it'll cancel the first one out. So you click on open and you see those photographs go in. And you can add up here some, uh, a caption, unique photos of site 15 years after planting and add progress okay it's successfully uploaded so now when you look at the view you can you'll see these uh, new images now if for instance i want to come back again in uh, next year or the year after and add some new images or even if i want to add another three images right now i can click add progress and put the three images in the point is you can only do three at one time and i'd also like to make it quite clear that you cannot use Firefox for this. For some reason or other, Firefox will not uh, upload images into this um, Add Progress section. So you need to use Chrome or Microsoft Explorer or whatever the uh, Windows uh, version is nowadays. So having done that, we can uh, go back and again I will pull up Yoon and I want to uh, delete what I just, well, I want to delete what I just added. So I can, uh, I can go to delete here, confirm deletion, and that's it, it's gone now. Okay, now I've shown you uh, what to do with one's own projects. You can either view them or edit them. You cannot delete, only administrators can delete. And um, I can now come to um, uh, other projects which other people have entered. If you're an investigator, you can look at the projects which have been entered in your country. So if you're an investigator from Brazil, you can just look at your Brazilian ones. Or if you're an investigator from China, then you do the same for China. If you are a surveyor, you have countrywide, worldwide entry, and you can edit or view any of those projects. It's particularly useful for viewing and adding progress, because that is where uh, many of us who do not own projects, but may happen to drive past a project and we can locate it, and we can take a photograph of that project as it, uh, as it is at the date we drive by, that's a useful thing to be able to add to the, uh, uh, to the site. So if we uh, click on under supervision, we can look at uh, we can we can pick up these projects. I'm not going to click them now because it takes time. But you click it, and all. And since I'm an administrator, I can look at any project. All 3,500 photos, uh, project sites will uh, will emerge, will be shown, and then I will be able to uh, view or edit them. Well, that's it. I hope this is uh, helpful, um, and. Uh, it's very important to uh, use this app, if you don't mind, particularly uh, people who uh, are interested in Vetiver and committed to the Vetiver system and want the system to be better known throughout the world. Also, if you are a commercial company and you want to uh, locate your projects and put a unique project name to them, code there, so that it's easy to pick out your uh, projects uh, and uh, show them to other people, then uh, this could be a very useful tool for you. Anyway, thank you very much and good luck.